go see Michael. Okay, that's a, that's a really good idea, but... Before you go, do you want to talk about last night? I know how hard last night must have been on you. I mean, it was dark. I didn't even see Michael until it was, it was too late. Yeah, I mean, Michael just needs time to accept that Abby's gone. Oh, I should have done more for him, Listen, Sam. you know how much Michael loves you and respects you. I don't even think you could have gotten through to him. I mean, when I was in Chicago, I tried everything. He shut know, me out. I know, I, I just, I, I should have stayed close. Instead, I was off doing my own thing, chasing a ghost. I just, I just got to go see him right now. Hey, That's wait a minute. Right. If you don't mind, I'd, I'd really like to come with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Okay, um, I'm going to go get my coat, okay? okay. to see how you're doing. Well, you're welcome. You're not. Mike, I just, I just wanted to explain. I don't give a damn what you want. This is my apartment, and I want you to Ease leave. up, Michael. It was an accident. That's not what this is about, Dad. Jason knew Jax was alive, and he didn't tell anybody. He went along with Mom's lie and let us all think Jax was dead. So much for honesty and trust. Jocelyn and Morgan are kids, but they still know what it's like to feel grief and loss. How could you do that to them? Hey, hey, look, Jason loves you, Michael. He obviously has his reasons. Reasons? Re what, what reasons? And how can you back him? He lied to you, too. I didn't know about Jax until Carly came and told me in Hawaii, and that was months after the you crash. You still Michael. owed us the truth. Hey, Michael, you know what happened in Hawaii. Jax was the last thing on his mind. I know that you wanted to go to New Zealand alone to scatter Abby's ass. Don't say your name! I'm just... I'm just saying I should have been there waiting for you when you got back, when you needed me. You mean you should have protected me? You want to help me, Jason? Why don't you tell Dad to let me into his business? I already told you that's not happening, Michael. I thought you liked the job at the warehouse. You know what? I also like waking up to Abby every morning. Things change. I have no reason to stay safe anymore. No crime-free future to plan for. Michael. You know what? Thanks for coming by. I'll let you know if I need anything. I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help Michael. Yeah, well, Michael's going through a lot right now, Jason. You can't take it personally. I know that, but he's hes trying to get back in the business. He's not thinking clearly, and that's just a bad combination. Okay, well, once he processes everything, I'm sure he won't be so angry. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. He took the news about Jax pretty hard. He's pissed at me more than I've ever seen him. Well, no, listen, I think that it, this is all very fresh to him, and he, he can't see what's obvious to everyone else. If Carly would have said something about Jax, Sonny would have went after him. She actually did the right thing for once. Jason, Michael is going to calm down, and he will forgive you for this. I know he will. 